hey, I wanna help you decide if buying these drawers is right for you. So let's take a look at the box here, get it open and take a look at the packaging. So you'll see that the box is about 13 inches by about 41 and a half inches by just under four inches. Now it's not super heavy, but it's definitely not a light package. I've been preferring to move it around by sliding it around my apartment instead of just carrying it around. And now we wanna be very careful opening anything like this with a knife. We don't wanna damage the product on the inside. Now we're gonna go after this seam here, and this is where we wanna be really careful because it says not to cut it with a knife. You don't want to scratch the product. So let's be really careful with the blade facing upwards. So it comes with an instruction manual here. And you can see that it does come with some packaging like styrofoam and plastic, but it's not over packaged like some things are like this. So for example, you'll see that all the pieces like this come individually wrapped and there's recyclable plastic on these metal pieces as well. You can see the recycle symbol right there. And so here you go, here's all the parts all wrapped up in their plastic and I don't wanna start unwrapping them yet because as you can see here, they do come with little numbers on them which are going to be useful for the assembly process. And so I will not remove them now, I will wait to remove them until I actually put this together. So I'm going to assemble the dresser over in this corner. I'm gonna lay down a blanket to make sure I keep all the parts nice and safe while I put it together. Okay, so now that I laid out all the parts, I'm gonna go into the instruction manual and make sure that we actually have everything we need before I get started putting it together. So we should have two of these right here. The third piece is this board here. We should have two of these pieces here. We should have number five here. Two of these for number six. We have seven and 11 packaged together here. Number eight looks a lot like the two number four pieces. The two number nines look a lot like the two number sixes. And then the three number tens come wrapped up like this. Plus we get this bag of hardware. All right, so it looks like I do have everything here. Let's get it put together. So for step one, we're gonna find bag BEF here, and we're gonna take out the hex key along with six of these M6 screws. And then we'll take our wood panel here and we'll lay it down like this with these screw holes facing upwards. And then we need pieces one and two here along with our two number fours. And you'll find that on all of these pieces, they have these protrusions here where the drawers are going to lay in them and one side is open here, and the other side has a stopper on the back. So that was on piece number four, but on pieces number one and two, you'll see the same thing with a stopper back here and an open front. Same thing if you go down to the second level here, an open front with a back and a stopper. Now these stoppers all need to face in the same direction. Now we're going to take this part of number one and two and set it down on top of the board like this. And the other important thing to remember is that these pieces should be facing inwards so the drawers can actually slide on them. So as you can see, I'll set it down like this with the open side of these little slots facing this way. So this will be the front of my board. And you'll also see that they're on the inside of the poles here. So let's screw that down. So it's actually pretty easy to get these started by hand and I'm going to tighten them up, but not totally all the way and I'll show you how I'm doing that here in a second after I get all of these pieces in. Now for the number four parts, you'll find that there's the screw hole right here and that's going to go down like this. Again, make sure that the open end of the brackets here are facing in the same way that we already have for number ones and two here. So my open ends will be facing in this direction. Now we can screw these in, just not too tightly. You don't wanna over tighten them. Moving on to our second number four here. You can see that I tighten them up, but they still have some room to wiggle here as well for adjustments later on. And moving on to our second piece of number one and number two, again, make sure open brackets on this side facing the same way that they're facing on these ones. And I did promise you a closer look at what we're doing here. We're just taking the screws and we're taking these holes here and lining them up with these slots right here. We drop the screw in, and I'm just gonna start it with my fingers. It can be a little tricky, and actually I found that possibly putting it into the hex key first might help you maintain 
a vertical orientation on that screw to get it in. Like I said, it can be a little tricky. Okay, there, I happen to do it just with my fingers, thankfully. And now we can move on to the second one, just get it started. That one went in really easily. And now we can tighten them up with the hex key. And I'm gonna tighten these ones up, but again, I'm not going to over tighten them. So now at this time, we should have a piece that's looking like this. Okay, so for the next part, we need our two number six bars like this one. And the key thing to look at is this hole right here in the middle. You'll see that one side is much larger than the other side. And what we're going to do is connect it right here. And we wanna make sure that the larger side hole over here is going to face downwards so that the smaller one here will face upwards sitting like this. Up here is the smaller hole, down here is the larger hole. Then we need to go to the bag labeled ACG and take out eight of the M6 screws here. And we're gonna take our eight M6 screws and apply them to our two number six bars, number one and number two here, and we'll screw them in here, 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 and one over here, and one over here. So let's get them started by hand first. And now we're gonna take our hex key and tighten those up. Again, we don't wanna tighten them all the way, just give them a nice screw in, because we wanna have some leeway to make some adjustments later on. Okay, so now our drawers should be looking like this. Now we go back to bag ACG and we take out two more of those M6 screws. And we're going to need piece number eight here that looks a lot like pieces number four, those two over there. And again, make sure you're paying attention to where the closed off end of this bracket is and where the open end of the bracket is and align it correctly with the other pieces that we've already installed. In my case, I have the open end of the brackets facing the camera here. So I'm gonna do the same thing with number eight, and then I'm going to take these brackets here and make sure they're above up here. And then I'm gonna come underneath here and get these screws started up into piece number eight. After those are started by hand, I'm gonna take the hex key and tighten them up. Again, not all the way, just enough to make sure that it stays in place, but not so much that we can't make adjustments on it later. And what you'll notice is that the hex key actually disappears up into this crossbar right here, because remember, we had a larger hole on bottom, and the screw's actually gonna go all the way through that larger hole up into our number eight right here. Now we go back to bag ACG and take out six of the M6 screws, and we go to bag BEF and remove four of these foot pads. And then we'll take our two number nine bars here, and we're going to connect them one in the back right here, and one in the front right here. And we're gonna use those four M6 screws to screw them in this way, another one here, one going down here, one going down here, one going in here, and in here as well. And again, we can just start those all by hand. And you can see I'm starting with the middle screw here first before moving on to the outsides. And again, let's screw those in, but not too tight, just enough so they're gonna hold in place. Now we're gonna move on to these foot pads and screw them in here. Another one right here, and then you guessed it, another one right here, and then the last one right here. And now that we have our drawers looking like this, now we can go through and tighten up all the screws that we've put into it so far. And don't forget about the two screws going up into this bar here. There we go, the whole thing feels really nice and sturdy. Now we can go ahead and flip it over. And again, it all feels really nice and sturdy now that I have it like this. 
Now we go into bag ACG and remove two of these caps here. And we're gonna put those caps over top of these larger holes that we had on these crossbars here. So one in front and the other in back. Now we go back into bag ACG and we take out six of these metal screws and then into bag D and remove three of these handles. Then we take our number 10 drawers, we should have three of them, and these labeled number five. We're gonna open up our number 10s and open them up totally like this. Then we take our number fives and we'll drop those in to our number 10s. And we get them to fit all the way in the bottom like this so the number 10 stays nice and solid and open. And let's do that for all three of these pieces. Once you have all three of them ready, we can move on to applying the handles. Now we find these holes here and we're going to apply the handle over top of it like this. And on the back side, we'll insert those metal screws like this. We can get those screws started by hand and then screw them in with our hex key. Now we should have nice tight handles on our drawers and we can do that for all three of these. Once we have all three drawers ready, it's really easy to just slide them in on top. Then we can move on to seven and 11. We should actually have two of these. Let's get them open. And we'll go back to bag ACG and get four more of our metal screws. And then from bag D, grab two more of the handles. Now we'll do the same process as before as opening up these drawers and then inserting the bottoms into them until they're nice and sturdy like that. Then we go find the screw holes in front and we repeat the same process of inserting our handles as we did with the previous three drawers. And once those two drawers are ready, we just slide them into the bottom. And there you go. We've got a nice little drawer set looking like that. And that's how it looks in the corner of my room over here. And you can see that it's standing a little under 22 inches high and it protrudes from the wall a little under 12 and a half inches, which makes it a nice small drawer set that looks pretty cool sitting in the corner of my new place over here. And just for reference, the top drawers look like they're about 12 inches by about 11 inches by roughly eight and a half inches deep with the bottom drawers being a little over 18 inches by also about by also about 11 inches and also about eight and a half inches deep. So there you go. If you're looking for a nice stylish little drawer set with some cloth drawers and a wooden tabletop like that, that doesn't take up a lot of, lot of space, this could be the one for you.